We are bugging out today. This roster of creepy crawlies is gonna blow your mind. Some of you might be impressed, but warning, there's a lot to be afraid of when it comes to these insects. Or what about their size? And I suggest that if you ever go anywhere where there are bullet ants, please don't try this. We have killers that begin as parasites inside of snails to freshwater bugs as big as your hand. And we can even have zombie bees that can render a cockroach helpless. Watch out for caterpillars that wear toupees. If you see this bug on the ground, don't pick it up. Number 15. Giant Centipede Centipede venoms are a powerful and deadly mystery. One bite can cause rapid paralysis in lizards, cockroaches, and other animals unlucky enough to be on the invertebrates menu of choice. They've even been known to kill people too. But until recently, scientists couldn't figure out why. Now, they have identified a nasty toxin in centipede venom that wreaks havoc on the cardiovascular, respiratory, and nervous systems of animals. The giant centipede is one of the largest centipedes with a length of up to 12 inches long. Yeah, a foot-long centipede. This species is found in various places in the Amazon River system and in Asia, where it preys on a wide variety of animals. As far as their bite is concerned, at least one human death has been attributed to the venom. In 2014, someone died after being bitten by a giant centipede which was hidden inside an open soda can. It's a carnivore that feeds on any other animal it can overpower and is capable of overpowering not only other invertebrates such as large insects, spiders, millipedes, scorpions, and even tarantulas, but also small vertebrates including small lizards, frogs, snakes, sparrow-sized birds, mice, and bats. Even worse, giant centipedes are not only very venomous, but extremely bad-tempered. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. If you see a water bug, don't touch it. Water bugs live in freshwater ponds, marshes, and slow-moving pools and streams worldwide. The largest species of giant water bug can exceed four and a half inches. Can you imagine coming face to face with this bug at your local watering hole? Check out their oval shape with pincer-like front appendages that capture and hold prey. When it comes to grizzly predators, a giant water bug can hold its own by ambushing their prey and sucking it dry. And they can deliver a painful, though non-toxic bite between the toes of unsuspecting human feet. This explains one of their common names, toe biter. Would you even consider touching a bug like this? Is this a nightmare to behold? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comments below. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Deadleaf Mantis. The Deadleaf Mantis has five eyes, a head that turns 180 degrees, and an appearance that could fool anyone on a colorful fall day. It all comes down to a phenomenon known as polyphenism, which describes how distinct characteristics or traits can arise in a single species under different environmental conditions. Their coloring ranges from dark gray to light molted gray. They also possess a broad prothorax that looks ripped and crumpled like a leaf. Females have a wider shield than the males, which means they tend to be bigger. Males have a slender body and a diamond-shaped shield. Adults are known to play dead as well. If startled, sometimes they'll jump into the air and fall face up or down to the ground with their legs pulled up. They're known to do a threat pose when startled. In general, they're aggressive towards each other and they'll sometimes eat each other, so they should not be kept together in captivity. Younger mantis are not very aggressive towards each other, so can be kept together and there will rarely be any cannibalism if they're fed enough. It turns out these creepy critters aren't actually very scary at all, but they sure are masters of disguise. Number 13. Possessed Disco Snail This colorful gastropod is an amber snail, and unfortunately it's now a possessed disco snail. Officially, we're not kidding, these snails are often host to a parasitic flatworm called a green banded brood sac. And it's as bad as it sounds. The worm seizes the motor neurons in the mollusk's eyes and creates a strobing colorful effect. And this gives these snails a pulsing disco effect in their eyes. 
Researchers even discovered that infected snails were able to move three times as fast as they usually do. Unfortunately, the parasite causes these snails to intentionally put themselves in harm's way to make themselves more visible to prey like birds, snakes, or rodents. Infected snails may survive a year like this and continue to be able to use the eyes on the ends of their tentacles, despite being zombified. And believe it or not, the parasite actually has a reason for this snail's zombie disco eye. Survival. Once the snail becomes infected with the parasite, it mimics a caterpillar with the changing colors and flashing eyes to attract hungry birds flying by. And it's all part of the parasite plan to be consumed by the bird and provide the flatworm with a cozy intestinal tract in which to reproduce. The struggle is real. Number 12. Zombie Bug Fungus For ecosystems to stay happy, fungi have to keep host populations in check. And this fungus has just one goal, self-propagation and dispersal. But what you didn't know, we just bought you a ticket to Zombieland, starring mind-controlling fungus. This fungus, found in tropical forests, infects ants through spores that attach and penetrate the insect's exoskeleton. There's an incubation period where infected ants appear perfectly normal and go about their business undetected by the rest of the colony. The other ants don't even know. In fact, only a few ants in a colony are infected at any given time. As the fungal infection advances, the ant is suddenly compelled to leave its nest, totally zombified. And they head for a more humid microclimate that's even more favorable to the fungus's growth. Meanwhile, the fungus feeds on the ant's innards until it's ready for the final stage. And that's where it gets gross. Several days after, it then grows a spore-releasing stalk out of the back of the victim's head to infect more ants on the ground below. But it doesn't make slave-like zombies out of any old host. Instead, the microorganism is somehow able to recognize the brains of different ant species and releases its mind-controlling chemical cocktail only when it's preferred host. Number 11. The Toxic Toupee this inch-long creature is generously coated in long, luxurious hair-like whiskers, making it resemble a tiny cat, the characteristic that gave it the name Puss Caterpillar. But its soft fur is not to be trusted. It's a toxic toupee. The fur of the larva contains venomous spines that cause extremely painful reactions in human skin upon contact. To reduce pain and other symptoms, experts suggest applying tape to help remove the spine tips from the skin icing the affected area, applying hydrocortisone cream to reduce inflammation, and taking an oral antihistamine to minimize the reaction. The caterpillars have a long history of causing medical emergencies. In 2018, a 15-year-old in Florida was rushed to the hospital after brushing against one while doing yard work. Another Florida woman was sent to the hospital after one touched her wrist in 2019. Nothing came close to the pain, she wrote on social media. It felt like someone was drilling into my bones. If you have any severe symptoms or feel like you're having an allergic reaction, head to the hospital. For now, there's no reason to panic. Puss caterpillars are still relatively rare. So as long as you stay alert when in their habitat, you should feel safe even if you see one. Don't touch it or pet it even though it's a sweet looking caterpillar. Number 10. Devil's Coach Horse the Devil's Coach Horse is a long, black beetle with a short wing case. At first glance, you could mistake it for an earwig, as if many of us can tell the difference, but that's why we're here. If you disturb a Devil's Coach Horse, it adopts an aggressive attitude and it raises its rear end and opens its powerful jaws. But probably the most alarming feature of the Devil's Coach Horse is its habit of raising its abdomen like a scorpion and opening its jaws wide. The action was the basis for a medieval superstition. If it raised its abdomen and pointed in your direction, you were cursed. And if provoked further, it will excrete an unpleasant liquid from its rear and mouth parts. And beware, this beetle can also give a painful bite. They have quite a sinister name, which isn't completely unfounded. Their full black coloration with a hint of red about the jaws may give them some connotations of evil. They're also carnivorous and hunt nocturnally eating a range of invertebrates such as slugs, worms, spiders, and wood lice, and don't refrain from carrion. And once they caught their prey with their large jaws, they then chew it into a ball before digesting it. Number 9. Bullet Ant Native to the western rainforest of South America, meet the bullet ant, the largest ant in the world. These little boogers end up reaching over an inch in length, 
The bullet ant has many common names. In Venezuela, it's called the 24-hour ant because the pain of a sting can last a full day. In Brazil, the ant is called the big black ant. The indigenous names for the ant translate to the one who wounds deeply. With a bullet ant sting, the pain is throughout your entire body. You start shaking, you start sweating. It goes through your whole body, your heart rate goes up, and if you have quite a few of them, you'll be passing in and out of consciousness. There will be nothing in your world apart from pain for hours. Bug scientist Dr. Justin Schmidt was curious to discover more about the effects of insect stings. So in 1983, he developed the Schmidt Sting Pain Index to measure the painfulness of different stingers. The index runs from one for mild to four for severe. Schmidt has given the bullet ant an unmatched four plus and describes the sensation of getting stung by one as like walking over flaming charcoal with a three inch rusty nail in your heel. Stinging talent, the ant is normally quite docile towards humans and other large animals. Number eight, parasitic horsehair worm. The rains around the world bring out more than wild mushrooms. If you're looking down at the puddles, you might spot a long, brown, spaghetti-shaped creature whipping around madly. It's a hair worm. It does not in there. All across America, in rivers or streams, horse hair worm eggs hatch and settle lazily to the bottom as larvae. Unable to swim up under the water column, the larva simply waits to be eaten by the larvae of other insects like midges, mayflies, mosquitoes, and crickets. If you had happened on the puddle a few hours earlier, you might have witnessed a gruesome spectacle like no other. The hair worm wriggling out of an insect's body, pushing its way out like the monster in the movie Alien. The 350 or so known species invade insects, and after developing for several months, the worms mind control their host to make a kamikaze dive into water, then escape through holes bored in the insect's body. The parasites end up in a tangled knot that can be as heavy as the tattered and oftentimes very much alive host they leave behind. After developing for several months, the worms kill their host, just like Chestburster made famous in the Alien franchise. Number 7. Silly String of Death Giant velvet worms are unusual creatures for many reasons, including the fact that they're not worms, not insects, millipedes, centipedes, or slugs. But their super slimming glands, rapidly squirting a glue-like substance from two oscillating papillae, have been a mystery to scientists. Until now, bug experts have performed a series of high-speed camera and anatomical experiments and have figured out how the velvet worms trap prey and defend from predators with their chaotic squirting. The worm generates slime and stores it in a reservoir. When it's ready, it squeezes it out like a syringe through papilla, microscopic spigots on the body that are flexible, kind of like an accordion. But they don't control the direction of the papilla directly. Instead, they just shot slime out through it and the speed of the slime through the small opening was enough to make it oscillate, like water speeding through an unattended garden hose. While the body structure of these giant velvet worms is a very simple one, it works well. It's enabled them to live very successfully on land, largely unchanged in structure for about 500 million years. Although first mistakenly described in 1826, as a type of slug, the evolutionary history of them has long fascinated scientists. Number 6. Blood-sucking leeches The leech is not a slug, nor is it a bug, reptile, or insect. Leeches are worms that live in water or land and feed by sucking blood from fish, frogs, lizards, birds, or if they get the chance, larger animals like humans. Sometimes it's not slimy either. The leech is an invertebrate animal belonging to a zoological category that includes more than 15,000 species of segmented bristle worms and 650 species of leeches, and some of them drink blood. Many have evolved to have impressively specialized food sources. One desert variety lives in camel's noses, another feeds on bats. Some eat hamsters and frogs. The giant Amazon leech feeds by inserting a proboscis, like a straw, into its prey. Freshwater leeches with 10 stomachs, 32 brains, 9 pairs of testicles, and several hundred teeth that have a distinctive bite mark even. Slurp! Not all leeches suck blood and not all blood-sucking leeches seek the blood of humans. Some are known as medicinal leeches. Medicinal leeches have been found to secrete saliva containing about 60 different proteins. 
they achieve a wide variety of goals useful to the leech as it feeds, helping to keep the blood in liquid form and increasing blood flow in the affected area. Number 5. Murder Hornet Coming all the way from Asia, these insects are establishing themselves as invasive species in many nations like the United Kingdom and North America too. A rise in these murder hornets have referred to the insect as a murder hornet and the term gained wider recognition over the World Wide Web. These social wasps from colonies that comprise one queen and many workers which can fly half a dozen miles or more from the hive to find food. They're also voracious predators capable of massacring entire honeybee hives in a matter of hours, decapitating thousands of the hive's adult bees and having their way with the helpless larvae to feed the hornet's own brood. The nickname was created in response to the hornet's potentially fatal sting and its aggressive group attacks. The insect is the world's largest species of hornet, with a body length of about two inches. The hornet's venom can lead to anaphylactic shock or cardiac arrest and the species is responsible for an estimated 30 to 50 deaths per year. But deaths are rare. In late 2019, two sightings of murder hornets were reported in North America in British Columbia in September and Washington State in December. Beekeepers in particular are worried about the potential impact of the new arrival. Number 4. Mind-Controlling Wasp These small, solitary tropical insects, called emerald cockroach wasps, might be beautiful to look at, but they're of little concern to us humans. But to cockroaches, however, totally different story. The wasp attacks from above, grabbing the roach as they aim their stinger at the middle of the prey's body, paralyzing the cockroach. With her long stinger, she targets her mind-altering venom into the cockroach equivalent of a brain. It's pretty successful too. The wasp's stinger is so next level it can sense where it is inside the cockroach's head to inject venom directly into different parts of the brain, relying on mechanical and chemical indicators to find its way. It gets worse. The emerald cockroach wasp controls the minds of the cockroaches she stings, then she feeds it to her offspring while they're still alive. The wasp takes total control and turns a once healthy cockroach into a mindless zombie. It's the wasp's venom. It acts like a drug and it takes over the cockroach's brain. A scary display of how neurotoxic venoms work, the wasp leaves her zombified victim in search of a suitable nest so she can leave her wasp child the zombie roach offering. Once the wasp has found it and her larvae are ready to feed, the envenomated zombie cockroach slowly gets devoured. Number 3. Tsetse Fly The word tsetse means fly in Tswana, but they've also been referred to as tick tick flies. They're famous for two characteristics. One, its wings can fold back completely and one wing rests directly on top of the other. Two, they have that scary, long, forward projecting proboscis, the tubular mouth part. This is used for feasting on the blood. This is no regular mosquito. This fly's mouth has tiny serrations on its proboscis, aka its stinger. So this means the killer fly can saw its way through your skin on its way to suck out your blood. You're welcome. Several species of tsetse fly can transmit diseases. To make matters worse, one of the most dangerous is a parasite that causes sleeping sickness, and it's as bad as it sounds. The victim falls asleep and just doesn't wake up. Without treatment, well, you get the idea. There's such a thing as death by tsetse, especially in Africa. According to the latest figures from the World Health Organization, in 2009, there were fewer than 10,000 cases for the first time since records began, and in 2015, this figure dropped to fewer than 3,000. Researchers are trying to eliminate sleeping sickness altogether. Number 2. Killer Snails They call it snail fever and katayama fever, and these freshwater snails are responsible for more than 250 million deaths a year, more deaths than sharks, lions, and wolves combined. Freshwater snails can carry a parasitic disease, and we can contract it from just wading, swimming, entering the water in any way and the parasites basically exit the snails into the water and seek us out. And they penetrate right through your skin, migrate through your body, and end up in your blood vessels where they can live for many years, even decades. Some parasites become trapped in body tissues, resulting in immune reactions and eventual degradation of the organs. Those eggs have sharp barbs because they eventually need to make it back out of the human body and back into the water to complete their reproduction cycle. 
and so those eggs can lodge in different tissues and cause severe symptoms ranging from anemia and fatigue. Those who have been infected for a long time may experience liver damage, kidney failure, infertility, or bladder cancer. These killer snails are primarily found in Asia, Africa, and South America. These communities know better than anyone why freshwater snails are recognized as one of the planet's deadliest animals. Number 1. Bombardier Beetle In this beetle's belly is a chamber that holds a cocktail of hydrogen peroxide. It literally has toxic beetle juices. When the beetle feels threatened, the chamber in its stomach empties into another reaction chamber that contains catalysts to kick off this explosive defense. This mix explodes out of the Bombardier Beetle, not as a single stream, but as a volley of rapid-fire blasts. The consequent chemical burn incapacitates smaller attackers like ants and spooks the hell out of much, much larger foes like this. This beetle battles with its butt. It's evolved a cannon in its caboose, where it bug juice violently bursts out in a boiling, noxious, pungent spray. It can repel even the most problematic of predators. The Bombardier Beetle, what a perfect name! It literally is the bomb! Sometimes their explosive emissions can even save their lives once they've been swallowed. Frogs, for example, have been known to regurgitate bombardiers after realizing the insects weren't exactly palatable. Creating a boiling hot chemical bomb inside your body is no easy task. Being tasty is not on the menu. Bombardier beetles inhabit all of the continents except Antarctica. They typically live in woodlands or grasslands in temperate zones but can be found in other environments if there are moist places to lay their eggs. We promise, stick around for more great content that won't gross you out, won't make you afraid to go in the water, or won't leave you with the creepy crawlies. Are you bugging? Like and subscribe and keep watching.